What is up, people of the tube? I am Andrew with Bayou Aerospace. Today, I'm going to be trying out the new Gemfan Wind Dancer 5042. It's supposed to be a high efficiency, grippy freestyle prop, but I normally fly the HQ 5x43 V1S, so it seems like a lot of people who fly that prop like the Wind Dancer. So I bought a couple, trying them out. And grippy really a bit missing on the punch even compared to something like the hq 5x43 v1s they really don't have the punch but oh my they grip perfect for just cruising around let's uh let's burn a couple more packs
Well, there's your durability test. Oh, holy cow, yeah. Wow. They really don't look that bad. But I had stupid bad vibes. All kinds of jello on the FPV feed. I don't know how uh, how much that jello is gonna show up because I have an ND filter going on. Oh yeah, this, this is kind of wrecked. All right, I got like two wrecked props out of that crash. It's not too bad. It was a pretty hard crash, and uh, you know these are these are live oak trees, so the branches are pretty hard. So they are rock solid. They just do not give, similar to pine trees. So all in all, I'd say the durability is pretty okay. I could fly away after that crash. Like any footage after a crash like that is going to be totally unusable for the most part. But uh. For instance, with the T-Motor Ultralights 5143, I tried those props too, and they feel great until you literally dink anything. Like, you dink literally anything, and it's just like, Argh! it's like giving your quad a massage, you know? So, uh, anyway, I'm going to swap out a new set of these bad boys. Good move. Because <laughs> they, they had all the parts, but the ones they needed, they rebuilt it right there on the spot, and they just cut that part out. 